Okay, lights are very important. Obviously, we've got a whole bunch of lights here. Well, not a whole bunch. It's just two basic lights. My other lights are in the car. Some of them are still up on there. I've got a couple of mounted up here. But lights are very important, obviously. Uh, that important that I actually had to turn someone away because they had zero lighting experience when it came to helping me on set. Uh, I had a look at some of their videos like, hey, if you weren't gonna help me on set, can I have a look at some of your videos? And that's just gimbal, camera, natural light. I'm sorry, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly on my professional sets. You're gonna have to understand how lighting works. Sure, if you are outdoors using natural light, learn how to diffuse, learn how to bounce, and learn how to use neg as well, because that's how you actually shape that natural light. But if you are actually using continuous strobes or lights, you need to understand how to shape them. But there are a whole bunch of different strengths, 60 watts, 300 watts, and the 500 water that we're gonna be talking about today. This is the cheapest one on the market at 980 US. It is a very, very big light, mainly for the fact that it has the LED panel, the cooling system in there, but it's also got uh, the ballast that you usually have and hang it up on the pole. This one's got it all in built. So it's it's one whole unit here, and it's ran by two V-Lock batteries as well on the side, which Andrew actually saw that you can actually run this through one V-Lock battery, which blows my mind. I don't know how that works, but it, it definitely does work with one V-Lock battery, which is, let's. Chuck this big bad boy on. And one V-Lock battery. The one thing it doesn't do is you can't turn it off when the V-Lock battery's on. You actually have to hold the mode button at the top and it will do a countdown of three, two, one, and then it turns off. That's not a really a pro or con, it's just an extra step that you need to understand and know about. So it is kind of like on a standby as opposed to fully off, or you just completely take the V-Lock battery out. But it, you can actually power it directly through your wall mounting socket anyway, so uh, it really depends on how you actually use this. But I actually use this for a lot of ambient light. So creating ambience around the room is very, very important because uh, you can't just light the subject because the subject would probably be a bit too bright. Uh, you really need to raise the levels of everything else as well as your subject. So I generally bounce this off a roof if it's a white roof or I bounce it off a white bounce board. So it spreads the light everywhere and gives me a base to start with. So this is one of the best options you can actually have, especially with a 500 watt uh, LED light there. You can use this to mimic some moonlight outside, to uh, do sunrise or sunset shots from outside, bouncing it directly in. You can use this as a key light, definitely. It's a bit overkill for a key light, uh, but you can do a whole bunch of different things with a 500 watt light. And something this big, you do wanna try and put it through its paces and you know, actually use it as moonlight or actually try and use it as sunlight as well. So the Golden Eagle is a 500 watt COB light. It has a CRI of 97, a TLCI of 97, and it is just a regular cob of 5600 Kelvin with the light control of zero to 100%. Now it does have an effects feature with eight different lighting effects and it has modes of silent, normal, and boost mode when it comes to the fan. So why should you get this light over the other lights? Like this isn't my company. I don't really care if you don't buy this or buy this or not. I don't get any commission or anything of this. I'm just here presenting to you guys what my opinions are on this and pretty much what features it has and if it's good or not in, in my opinion. Because it is a sub $1,000 LED light for 500 watts. I mean, you can't get that anywhere else. But if you are going to be buying something very similar power, like five or 600 watts, you're looking at the Aperture 600X or the 600D. Uh, you're looking at the um, the new Godox light, which is the M60D. And those are, you know, like $1,900. It's That's pretty crazy price considering this is sub 1,000. So you're looking at half the price for a very similar product. And 
Man, in my opinion, that is pretty damn good. And uh, it definitely warrants a good reason to be making this video and showing you guys this light. So I guess one of the great things about controlling this as well is uh, you can actually control it through the app via Bluetooth. So all you need to go do is go through the menu settings and connect it to your Bluetooth. And then you can pretty much control almost everything through that. And that is really handy, especially if you are uh, using this outside and you don't wanna have to go outside, make the adjustments come back inside. You can just get out the app, link it, make sure you know you'd make those adjustments i know a lot of other lights have remote controls as well as the app and this one doesn't come with a remote control but hey if you do have the app then that's still perfectly fine but if you want a little bit more of an in-depth review of this go check out andrew's channel link will be in the description below of uh, this exact uh, review and you can see a little bit more detail into every single feature that this thing has now i think the only downfall is probably the case it's just a regular foam case in a bag I mean, if you're gonna be paying some budget prices, they're gonna to have to cut some costs on somewhere. You can't have bags like Nanlite and Godox and Aperture. They've got absolutely fantastic hard cases and stuff for lights, but overall, you're getting a pretty damn solid performance from this light, uh, and that's all you pretty much need. You can go create whatever you want with this light, spend your money on other things, spend your money on more lights. That's probably the great thing about this thing is that it's so cheap that you can actually invest in other things, so. So generally when it comes to my key light, I use uh, smaller lights, generally my Nanlite 300B, which is a bicolor light, uh, or I'll use my PavoTube 30Cs, which is by Nanlite as well. Pavo tubes are absolutely fantastic. They're so light, so compact, and you can move them around, they're diffused. You could probably use it as a key light if you really wanted to. There's a few situations where I've actually used it as a key light, because I actually do like sometimes that sort of harsh light. And if I've actually got like a lamp there on the desk, I can actually use a Pavo tube as motivation coming from that and make it look like the lamp is lighting the subject, which you know works really well. But um, in terms of key lights, you still definitely can use this as a key light. I just personally don't. You know, 500 watts, you may as well put it to something where it's really good at, which is raising a whole bunch of ambience, creating some moonlight, creating sunlight, getting it outside and trying to light up a larger scene this thing will definitely do the job. But hey, look, there are pros and cons with a whole bunch of other lights and brands. Like no light is perfect. I've worked with a whole bunch of aperture lights before and there are so many cons on that. Like they're so expensive and you'd think they should be absolutely perfect, but no light is perfect. There's always little bits and pieces from other light companies. You're like, I wish they had this from Nanlite or I wish Nanlite had this from Aperture or I wish Godox, you know, brought their little thing in with this one and you know what I mean it's there's no perfect light but this is pretty damn good for a 500 watt and also the price as well you know something as budget as this well budget is a bit of a nebulous term and it's very difficult to judge someone's budget but uh, it's it's relatively cheap for uh, the equivalents in the market but other than that, guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't. Uh, the link will be in the description below if you do want to check this light out. Uh, I'll link some other lights in the description below if you want to check them out as well. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see you, uh, see you in the next one. <laughs> Let's get it.